Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Here are the basic terms in special education. Developmental disability, impairment or disability, handicap, and at risk. First, developmental disability refers to a severe, chronic disability of a child 5 years of age or older that is, number 1, has mental or physical impairment or a combination of mental and physical impairments. Number 2, manifested before the person attains age 22. Number 3, likely to continue indefinitely. Number 4, results in substantial functional limitations in three or more of the areas of major life activities like self-care, language, learning, mobility, self-direction, capacity for independent living, and economic self-sufficiency. Number 5. Reflects the person's need for a combination and sequence of special care, treatment, or other services that are lifelong or extended duration and are individually planned and coordinated. Second, impairment or disability refers to reduced function or loss of a specific part of the body or organ. A person may have disabilities like blindness or low vision, deafness or hard of hearing condition, mental retardation, learning disabilities, communication disorders, emotional and behavioral disorders, physical and health impairments, and severe disabilities. Next one is handicap. It refers to a problem a person with disability or impairment encounters when interacting with people, events, and the physical aspects of the environment. For example, a child who is hard of hearing or who suffers from deafness cannot hear regular conversation and uses a hearing aid and reads the lips of the speaker. The last one is at risk. It refers to children who have greater chances than other children to develop a disability. The child is in danger of substantial developmental delay because of medical, biological, or environmental factors if early intervention services are not provided. Here are the categories of children at risk. First, established risk are those with cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, and other conditions that started during pregnancy. Next one is biological risk are those who are born prematurely, underweight at birth, whose mother contracted diabetes or rubella during the first trimester of pregnancy, or who have bacterial infections like meningitis and HIV. Last one is environmental risk results from extreme poverty, child abuse, absence of adequate shelter and medical care, parental substance abuse, limited opportunities for nutrients and social stimulation.